Everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play of my uh, game here of Hearts of Iron 4 as Fascist Brazil, or Integralist Brazil, whatever. I'm playing the Wrath of Rio, as we call it. Alright, so, before we kick it off, we have a lot of housekeeping we gotta do. We have Resistance. Where is Resistance hiding? Not in South America, so that's good. That's not even ours, so I don't care about all that. That's Germany's problem. Oh, New Zealand, eh? New Zealand has a lot of uh, resistance, so we'll have to go and send more security troops down there. Oh, we might as well, might as well bump up the amount of security troops that we get. Help that out, make that go a little bit faster. All right, so that's good there. We'll just do three of them. Actually, let's see something about them real quick. Do I have MPs? Yeah, I do have MPs. Okay, cool. That's good. Problem solved there. Um, arguably, we could drop this down even smaller, but not not the point. All right, next up, research available. So we finished our super heavy battleships. Do we want to do doctrine? Let's see our industry. Oh man, we got to get going with our industry. We have slacked off here. Back to industry. <laughs> That's kind of big. All right, military factories. Let's bump up our plane production. We're going to start needing lots of those. And let's actually take away some of those and instead add some super heavy battleships. Let's we'll put them in Rio as well. There we go. Oh, we do have naval. Okay. So if that's the case, now we'll wait till we get to four, because I know we're close to four with all of these guys. However, yeah, let's do that. These guys. Combine you for now. That's 60. I want at least 100. 100 strong would be nice. Okay, let's see what else we have going on here. We need to start setting up another... Another force. So we'll get you. We'll put you in this grouping. We're going to make you our main, like, America attack force. We're going to label you as... Well, we already have blue. Just do white. I haven't done white before. So let's make them white. I like primary colors. I know, it's weird, right? But that's what we'll take. Oh, wow! We have different symbols here? I didn't even know that. Huh. Shows you what I know. Okay, well, we have different symbols we can use. And if you really want specifics there, I guess you can do whatever you want. Alright, so let's give you a commander. We're gonna make you a massive army, though. So we need a new commander. And let's promote you field marshal so that I can stick as many as I want. And yeah. We actually need to probably start making all our troops get deployed up in the north. Because down in the south isn't going to help us anymore. So let's change all of this to there and there. Now, if you all don't mind, start deploying into, what is it, I need to, oh, that's just orders, you can send them to, okay, not worried about that. Alright, I think we're good then. Alright, with that said, what other housekeeping do I need to do? They're spread out, split you, move you here. And another set there. That'll be good. Those stupid Argentinian ships. <laughs> the invulnerable Argentinian forces. Alright, and those guys haven't made it there yet. Any more housekeeping I need to do? Let me check. Over here we have everything to their max, it looks like, so far. So that's good. Bump you all the way up so that way all additional stuff goes to it. That's good, that's good, that's good. 
All looks pretty solid. That isn't four yet, right? Nope, still three. Okay. So with that, let's check our true playouts here. Can I make you guys any better? I mean, I could. I'd bump them out to 40 with additional tanks. Um, let's add logistics. So that way they're a little bit easier to deal with. You guys, I mean, you really don't matter. Motorized, you guys are pretty much non-existent. And armored. We can switch them from motorized to, uh, to mech. Alright, let's see the difference here. So their defense, small breakthrough, 15 and 3. 6, 15, and 3. These guys are 6, 1.2, and 8. So they have a lot more hard attack and not much soft attack. To be honest, we're, we need that additional soft attack because we're getting a lot of hard attack from our tanks. So, well, we're getting a bunch of soft attack there. I mean, I think it's probably fine as is. Let's add logistics to them. I think they're probably fine. I don't think sw swapping that's going to make that big of a difference. Alright, there we go. Hardness represents how much of your division is made up of armored. I'm um, attacking a division together with all soft and hard. A division with higher hardness will suffer fewer soft attacks. Uh, oh, gotcha. So a good split's not bad. Um, so the reliability is not... This is okay. Their hit points are great. Cover rate's okay. Um, so soft attack... How many attacks the unit can make versus enemies with low hardness? That's with high hardness. So I'm I'm great across the board. We don't need to change that. We actually want more soft attack. Um, what about air defense? We don't care about defense. Nah, we're not really cared. Breakthrough is important because that is how many attacks can attempt before avoiding on the offense. Armor that's and piercing allows me to go through other armor. Initiative doesn't matter. Entrenchment doesn't matter. Combat with again. Four divisions of 20, so that, that's important there, unless I bump them all the way up, but I don't want to do that. Then that's all my requirements of spending to get them there. Okay, I think I think we're good. Do I want to bump these guys up? I could trade it. I think it's four and four is the alternate here to make them that much stronger, but those add so a lot of soft attack and a little hard attack. Those guys add a little soft attack. What is it? Let me let me test it out, and I won't save it if it's a problem. It's 22. That's 20. Soft attack goes through the roof. I had tons of artillery. I gained back infantry. Let's, um... You know what? Let's... Let's do it. We're committing to it. Our infantry... Our infantry are now... Super arty based. It'll change things up, but they're gonna hit a lot harder. So that'll be cool. And I'm gonna gain a sh ton of troops right off the bat. Alright, I guess uh, I guess that does it there. Man, we have nowhere else to get uh, steel from. So we're just going to have to push into America here. Alright, and anything else? Well... How close to attacking are you guys? They can in a couple days, so let's go ahead and kick that off. Let's go ahead and say you guys... Start... Oh, that'll land shortly, we want to wait for that to land. How about you guys attempt to push into there? And then we'll at least get three of you guys. I can't. They're busy defending. Okay. Alright, I think that'll probably do it there. I guess we can kick off. Um, and we'll go to war. When is this? August? Mid-August. Okay, so we'll kick it off. I mean, I might as well attack now. That is that is an option. 
I think it really helps that I bumped up all my uh, my troop types. It's going to really make these attacks a lot harder. Of course, I have to supply it all, but still. Man, look at that steamroll. Just like that. All right, we want to be careful about how we spread this. That's going to be kind of a big deal. We'll wait for them to land. Everything's going to move a lot slower now, so that's a problem, but not not the biggest of problems. So let's declare war against you. Go. I should steamroll through that. And then I have a couple days with which to deal with, uh... To deal with the next de uh, declaration. Awesome. So we're going to trap those British troops in there. That's going to be great. They have so many troops down there. So many. I'm going to have to deploy naval fleets there to block out their... Uh, their what you want to call it. Their ability with which to supply with convoys. So let's do that. Like that. Costa Rica capitulated, so that's good. Let's get you guys lined up here. And we'll just offensive line across the board again, like that. Wait for you to get in position. Well, we'll just declare. And go. Excellent. <laughs> that went that went well. Alright, so we got those troops there. So let's bring you guys up to here. Add you into them as well. We have a lot of military factories we can start using. Everything looks filled for the most part. Oh, we need a lot of artillery. Alright, let's add another artillery branch. Bump you, like, all the way up, but then reduce you from there. Oh no, we actually need, uh... We need weapons more than anything else. Alright, we need to start rethinking this. Alright, so you guys landed there. Some of you go up there. Alright, so we have this whole blockade. So let's get some of you to go there. Let's get all of you to go there. I think we're just overwhelming now that we added in this uh, firepower here. So let's do that. Position you forward. Well, the good news is they move pretty fast. Let's see if we can't take over the cap war real quick. So we have all these guys engaged here. Man, we do steamroll now. That is a thing. There we go, now we hold their capital. see about spreading you guys out a little bit. We're starting to get this. Nicaragua capitulated, so that went well. Let's see here. All the military factories in the world. Alright, we need more infantry weapons. Put all the way at the top. get you guys rolling. So let's frontline you. And let's do that.
And let's, I guess... Alright, so we're in 44. Let's pause this real quick and take a peek. So we're in 44. I don't really need the special forces. I'm doing pretty well as is. Radio comms... Wouldn't hurt to do logistics, improve that. Tank-wise, we're set until 45. I'm not going to do super heavies. Artillery-wise, we're, we're set. We've completed that. Doctrine wouldn't be a bad thing. Should we start doing more ships? Oh no, I completely forgot. We need to... We need to get our industry going here. Are we completely slacked off? Alright, so it's retention... That's growth. I think at this point we need growth more than anything else. But let's finish this first. What's going on here? Sinking ships. Doing battle. Alright, so you're doing new. Okay, back to uh back to where we were. How do I have two fleets out here? Okay. So you guys cancel your orders and come back home. Okay, that looks good. Kick it back off. Yes, I know we have a lot of unfulfilled. I'm very aware of that fact. Alright, let's go back and focus here on Australia. They seem to be the going to be the biggest headache. There we go, get a multiple spread there. Push you out. Send you as well. I'm trying to spread out. Uh oh. You guys go there. I cannot believe that that was left wide open like that. And no one took advantage of it. That's the, the other funny thing. So we're just going to keep having to slowly advance these guys. You guys go like that. What's nice is my one guy is significantly stronger than all of theirs. So that, that really does help. that. Alright, so we're slowly spreading. Slowly. Doing what I can here to make this work. Not exactly easy. Go there and help them out. What other options do we have? Well, that's only blue up here. So, only blue, let's delete all your orders and set your front line just across the board. Because you're going to be assisting on pretty much everything as it sits. And green, well, we're, we're working with you. Actually, you know what we can do? Let's edit these orders here. Let's reduce green's footprint to that. And let's move Blue's footprint like that. That way we have a somewhat stronger unified front. Getting the right troops in the right positions is going to be key. However, we've taken over a large swath of uh, Australia's production. So that's a plus. Uh oh. You retreat, get back here. Otherwise, we can lose our, uh. What you wanna call it? Yeah, we don't wanna lose our. our port down here. That would be. devastating. We have one source of uh, supply coming in. Don't screw that one up. For whatever you do. Alright, let's see here. How's our. construction going? 
Not that bad. Alright. How's everything down here? Fine. Do I have any troops yet? Hanging around? Not really. Don't have many troops. Just sitting around, that is. Alright, they're all spread out. I am... Oh, I didn't justify. Okay, I'm sorry. Justify against you. I, I like how I'm apologizing for the fact I have not uh, waged war. It seems silly. But it's a thing. Alright, so we have our fleets still building up down there. They're working on it. In fact, we should probably apply a fleet leader here. By new. Um, South Africa finally capitulated. I didn't assign anybody. Need a new commander. You. Alright, South Africa finally capitulated. So, Africa Corps. Where should we have you guys go? Well, to be honest, we can bring up the Soviet Union. Do that. Uh, that's a a lot longer of a front than what I wanted. So let's halt you. Instead, let's have you guys come right like that. And we're gonna have to change your name to Russia. Oh, uh, you know what? Instead. Instead, let's delete delete your order. We'll get you to Russia. You're just going to take the long way there. This might be risky doing this. Let's send you all... Where are you guys? All right, let's actually... Split you across like that. And I'll switch your orders to that. And here's what we're gonna do. Once you guys split, we're gonna take out Madagascar, and then we're gonna hop over and hit the other side of New Zealand. Or not New Zealand, Australia. Because we can. Oh my god, come on guys. Think about this a little stronger here. I know we're a little spread out on this front. So once we take this, we'll capture it. Well, we'll close off this area, pocketing them. Or maybe not. We need to take them out first. That'll work. You guys attack like that. You help them out, if you don't mind. Both of you hit there. Nine? Jesus. Okay. Soon to be Russia front. We gotta hit Madagascar first. And now we have more ships. So heavy battleships producing. Uh, light cruisers wouldn't be bad. I'm going to hold on to it for now, actually. Alright, so we have our justification there. So we're now good to attack. Declare war. Go for it. Honduras joined in on the fray. Uh, 
Let's see here. Ooh. No, no. Not what I had thought. Let's just get you guys pretty much up to here. We'll figure out what to do with you after that. So let's get you guys up on that line. Let's see what else is resistance around here. Some more there, so we gotta take care of that. Let's establish a garrison area here. There we go. Established. What did I sink? A few destroyers. Cool. Alright, so go from here. Man, our options are like terrible. <laughs> you guys go from there. Pretty much there. And there. That'll work. And then we just gotta plow our way up, hoping that there's no troops there. And we're just gonna kinda island hop this way, is what we're gonna do. And then we'll eventually find a way to land up here. Somehow. I don't know. We'll figure that one out when we get there. Alright, so back to here. Honduras capitulated. That's great. So let's delete your orders. Front line. Like that. And you guys... The hell do you think you're going? Why are you... That doesn't make any sense. That makes zero sense as to why they're doing that. I completely forgot they existed, but still. Sometimes you wonder. Sometimes you really wonder about them. Now we got the blockade, so let's do that one. Would you get over here already? And then once you're there, I'll transport you. No. Hold. What a bunch of dumb shits. Need three convoys, but have zero transports in this division. Can I transport to a non-naval base location? Okay. From a non- oh, they started moving again. Fine, you just do you. We'll catch up eventually. Alright, so let's start making battle plans for these guys. Offensive line. Pretty much like that. There's our advanced landing craft, so let's start getting our next class of ships. And then you guys, if you don't mind. Doing that. And then no. Delete. Alright, let's kick you two off. Go and go. Now that we have that established front, it should actually go pretty pretty well. Because we are significantly stronger. Alright, so we need to front line you guys. Actually, edit this front line. Move it back so I'm not attacking from K2. 
cancel. Alright, we got a lot going on here. Let's pause. <laughs> Hold. Frontline there. And then our offensive line will be that. Mm -hmm. That'll be what we're doing. And this should tick off very shortly. Alright, what do we have going on? Losing convoys left and right. That's a, that's fine. Oh, up here we have... Oh, it's actually almost time to call this one. Alright, so we have invasions attempting there. Stuff's happening there. We have engaged the British. Ooh, man, we sunk a bunch of stuff for the British. Look at that, all that's left is their carrier, which I'm apparently going to start hunting down. Man, if we eliminate that, we just completely neuter them. Um... Yeah, we keep sinking little things with our fighters because of kamikaze attacks, apparently. How's our fleet coming down here? It's coming along fine. And then over here, we started this. That's going to spread real quick. In which case, we'll just steamroll right through. Alright, I think that pretty much wraps it up and wherever the hell these guys are going, we don't know. They're doing their thing. We'll figure it out as they go. Alright, so you're being constructed. Add you guys. I don't know what I want to do with you yet. But we'll figure it out when we get there. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up. Let's move around some of this stuff real quick. Oh yeah, I got a little more housekeeping to do. Um, move you guys to deploy from there. You guys deploy from here. That's good there. Sciencing stuff. We already have our fighters. We don't have jet engines yet, so that's fine. Don't need to worry about bombers. So we can start doing fighter threes. I honestly could start doing that too. Um, back to our industry, because we're slacking. So we want production growth. Now our ability to build is do fighter threes. Can't do anything. So let's just do straight fighter threes. I think we're pretty much good to go then. If not mistaken. Two, three, three, two, yep. Okay. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for us. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to this episode of our Let's Play here of... The hell? Of Hearts of Iron 4, playing as uh, the Wrath of Rio. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Later.